everyone, today's video is going to be a fairly chilled one, hence why I'm currently sat on the floor. I'm also wearing my lovely Primark men's joggers, which are the comfiest trousers in the world, but also the least flattering. But today I'm going to be decluttering, I think, my entire bedroom. I was originally planning on just doing my wardrobe, but to be honest, I have a lot of crap and it needs to go, so I'm just going to try and tackle everything and try and sort out my life a little bit. If you've seen my recent chatty life update video, you will know that I'm in the process of moving house. So I move into my first flat by myself on Thursday. It's currently Monday. So obviously before then I need to pack everything up and I figured this was a really good time for me to just declutter, get rid of everything, stop being such a hoarder, clear out all my crap and all my holy socks and my t-shirts with holes in that I'm clinging on to because I like them and just have a bit more of a fresh start. So that's why I'm doing this now. Gonna try and tackle as much as possible today but I have a feeling this video might be filmed over the next two or three days just until I've sorted everything out. It's already like almost three o'clock. It's literally almost dark which I'm just not used to from being in New Zealand where it stayed light until like 9, 10 p.m. So that's not great, but yeah, I'm just gonna try and tackle as much as possible and then I'll just pick up the camera every time that I'm doing something over the next few days. I feel like I'm just gonna be on and off trying to get as much stuff done as possible. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these types of videos. I'm honestly obsessed with them at the moment. I don't know if that's because I know that I have to declutter myself and I'm finding it like motivating to watch other people do their rooms. I just watched one from Gabriella Lindley, like I think maybe yesterday I watched that and she decluttered her room and that's definitely put me in like the right mindset. I don't think I'm the best with getting rid of stuff. My sister is so good at it. She is so brutal. And previously in my old house, she went through all of my stuff and I got rid of like six black bags of stuff. I'm pretty sure she is very brutal with it. So I feel like I could do with her being here right now. I've also just read a blog post from my friend Hallie, which I will link down below because it is so good and it's all about how to clear out your wardrobe. So feeling very inspired by that, but I feel like I could do with these people here with me just to push me to get rid of stuff because I know exactly what I'm like and I know that where I can I like holding on to things so yeah that's the plan I think I'm going to start with this little like chest of drawers I've got over here it's actually a bedside table that I just use as a chest of drawers but it's got three very small drawers and it's just filled with like underwear and socks and then the bottom drawer is my electronics so I figured this one would be a good place to start because it's not too overwhelming and I also don't have to get all hot and bothered trying stuff on I've also really got a big sock problem, <laughs> which you'll probably see from this video, but I have a lot of socks and probably 85% of them have holes in, so I'm just going to get rid of anything with a hole in because I know I don't need that. I just think I have really strong toes. <laughs> So, I don't know. If any of you guys are like me and have super strong toes, let me know so I don't feel so alone. But I get through a pair of socks literally in like two wears, I make a hole in them. And it's not that my nails are too long or anything like that. I just, anything I do to make them last longer, it doesn't work. I just have strong toes and I get through socks very quickly. And then once I make a hole in them, I put them back in my drawer and I continue wearing them until it's literally painful and they're like cutting off my blood circulation. Anyway, I've been rambling, that's all besides the point. I'm gonna start tackling my underwear and my socks and hopefully I'll have a lot emptier drawers by the end of it because at the moment they are a struggle to shut. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I'm working with. I'm just gonna go through this. I'm gonna have a keep pile and a bin pile and yeah, let's tackle this. Okay, I say that this is my electronics drawer, but this is also sort of my random crap. I don't have anywhere to put something, so I'm gonna put it in this drawer drawer. <laughs> so I've also got a lint roller, so I'm gonna have to find a home for that. Okay, that's a spare screen protector. I mean, I've got this pot that's got a lipstick, an old cork from a bottle of something, a lollipop, one piece of chewing gum, and 10 pence, so. Not sure why I need this, I will empty that out. <laughs> this is filled with all of the pictures I had, I think, at some point on my wall at university. I've literally got 
so many in there but I might leave these and just bring them as they are to my new flat and then I'll go through them then just in case I want to put any of these up on a wall or something somewhere. Ooh, I just found 10 euros, that's very exciting. Okay, another drawer tackled. Okay, so I'm now going to tackle my actual bedside table. This again has kind of got random stuff in. This top drawer is another one of those drawers that I just shove anything in. So I'm not excited to go through that. And then these bottom two are sort of makeup and body and beauty bits in general. I have now got some snacks because even though I'm only 20 minutes in, already feel like I'm slacking a little bit. So got some crisps that I have eaten a lot of already. These are the Eat Real Sour Cream and Chive crisps that are so good. If you're vegan and you miss sour cream and chive, I recommend these. And then also got some candy kittens that my dad got me for Christmas because need the sugar, need to keep my energy up so I can keep being productive. But yeah, this is the next thing to tackle. Okay, so now on to this final drawer, which is by far the most packed. So hopefully gonna tackle this. This has got like some hair stuff, some random samples, one loose lem sip. It's got a bunch of pills in a pill box, which I don't know what they are anymore, which just isn't great. <laughs> My eyebrow dye, I swear by this because otherwise I don't have any eyebrows. But yeah, this has just got a lot of random stuff in it. Okay, so I think that that is gonna have to do for this drawer. It still looks very full, but I've got rid of everything I can get rid of from this drawer, so this is gonna have to do. It is still very packed, but oh well, I've tried. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm already feeling quite defeated. <laughs> And all I've done is two little bedside tables and I've not even started on my wardrobe, not done under my bed. Honestly, my wardrobe is so full right now. I don't know where all of the clothes have come from. I'm literally so overwhelmed every time I open the doors. So I think I might save that half of the decluttering for tomorrow. Right now, I'm in an attempt to declutter under my bed, which to be honest is probably worse than my wardrobe because I've just got a whole bunch of random stuff under there. Basically, when I moved here from uni, I just kept everything in the box that I moved it in and just shoved the box under my bed and then I haven't touched it until now. So I'm not really too excited to go through everything, to be honest, but that is what I'm going to attempt to tackle now and then I will probably stop for the day because I'm feeling tired. Okay, so this is what under my bed currently looks like. At the end there, I think that's like a tent or something. So that's not mine, but that's mine. This is mine, that's mine, that's mine, and that is mine. So I'm gonna have to go through all of them. I'm pretty sure this one is from my old, old house of bits that I had in my old bedroom. So I'm pretty sure most of this stuff is just gonna be like memory bits that I might wanna put in the loft. This is like arts and crafts stuff by the looks of things when I don't remember the last time I did arts and crafts. This is a food box that my sister got me for my birthday. I really, really recommend these. It was so good, everything in there. The only things that are left now are this piece of vegan jerky, which I'm a little bit scared to try. And then there's also a tiny bar of chocolate in here. So I can just take these out now and get rid of the box. So that saves a little bit of space, but I still need to tackle the rest of these boxes. I think this one is gonna be the worst as well because this is jam-packed. I can't even move it. It is jam-packed full of like beauty products and just a bunch of crap that I don't need. So I might start with that one because I know that's gonna be the worst one. And then hopefully from there, it can't be that bad. Okay, so I have managed to go through one of the boxes underneath my bed. Still got quite a few to go through. I think there's like five or six underneath there. But my mum's just called me to say she's going to Sainsbury's. So I'm gonna have a break of doing this for now 
because I want to go look at the homeware stuff and then hopefully when I get back this evening I can tackle a few more of these boxes. It is now two days later. I went to Sainsbury's. It was actually a fairly successful trip. I picked up quite a few new bits but then I came home and I did nothing and then yesterday I did no decluttering either so it's now Wednesday and I've got a lot to do. I need to finish doing all of these boxes underneath my bed and then I also have my wardrobe to tackle and I kind of need to get it all done today because there is a chance that I could be moving tomorrow. So yeah, it's quite a lot of stuff to get on with. I need to stop procrastinating. It is like already... 11 oh it's 11 11 i need to make a wish but yeah it's like 11 o'clock so i've got pretty much the whole day to get on with stuff so yeah that is what i'm going to start getting on with i've managed to get rid of slash rehome majority of the stuff that was in this box i feel like this has been the most successful box to declutter so far i'm literally left with my greatest showman dvd my camera box and then also a watercolor pad so that is a very successful declutter i think i have literally got so many post-it notes and i don't want to get rid of them but also i don't feel like i have a need for these anymore now that i'm not at uni so maybe i'll part ways with this one because this could go to a charity shop and i'll keep these ones that are already open <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I haven't done quite as good as a job with this box. It is still very full. The thing is, I don't even do arts and crafts and anything like that that often. I mean, this is mostly like stationery, cards, that sort of thing. So I feel like I probably could have got rid of a lot more, but at least now it is a lot more organised. I mean, yeah, I think this will have to do for now. And then maybe in the future, when I finally realise I'm never going to do arts and crafts, I'll get rid of a few more bits from this box. Okay, so I have finished with this box. It is very empty, which makes me very happy. <laughs> Obviously, this will be filled with other stuff when I actually move, but for now, I have decluttered a fair amount from this one, so I'm happy about that. And that means I only have one more box to deal with, and then I'm finished with everything other than my wardrobe, which is very good news. Okay, so it is now time to tackle this box. This probably is the most full box. So it will probably take most time, as well as the fact that it's filled with like lots of memory stuff. So I'm probably going to spend ages just looking through bits anyway. But yeah, let's tackle this one. Okay, so this is a fun fact about me that you probably didn't know, but I used to collect marbles. So I was a super cool kid, and I thought these were the coolest things ever. So <laughs> here is my little marble collection. I think this is an old fudge tin. And on the bottom it says best before 2004 so that gives you kind of a rough idea of when this was i'm pretty sure i was around seven when i was into marble collecting and i have to ask myself do i need a tin of marbles and the answer is probably not but am i going to keep them anyway yes because i'm very attached to this little tin of marbles so that was one thing i think i might create like a little pile of stuff to go in the loft because i don't need access to this on a daily basis but i know i'm gonna want to look at this again at some point so this box might have to be like a box for the loft there's honestly so many good memory stuff in this box i've just found a really cute picture of when me and my friends went to paris when we were i think this was year 12 so that's such a cute memory definitely holding on to that I have just found my very first iPod. Like, most people probably wouldn't even recognize this as an iPod anymore. I think this was like the first version of an iPod shuffle where you literally couldn't see what you were playing or anything. And I got these little covers for it and I thought I was so cool. <laughs> and I've hung on to this. I don't even know how old this is. I've also still got this, which is my old iPod Nano, I'm pretty sure. This probably still works. I feel like I could do something with this, but I'm not really sure what. Like, what do you do with a box of old iPods that no one's gonna want anymore, but you're kind of a little bit attached to? 
this might have to stay in this box and be dealt with another time. I don't know. I don't know. What on earth do I do with these? Okay, so I think that that is my final box done. I'm gonna tidy up all of the mess that's now on my floor, put these back underneath my bed, and then I will check back with you guys. Okay, so I think I've now finished decluttering all of like the stuff in my room. I'm sure I'll find random bits hidden in awkward places that I'll have to declutter at some point as well. But I think for the most part, that is everything decluttered. I now have my wardrobe left to declutter, but I think I might make that into a separate video. I was planning on doing everything all together, but it's taken me longer than I thought to do this and I feel like it's probably going to be a long enough video by itself and the wardrobe I think is going to be quite a big task. I'm just, to be honest, not excited to do it whatsoever. But yeah, I think that it's going to be a long task and will probably need to be a whole video in its own right as well. So I am going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's motivated you to declutter your room. Honestly, now that I've done it, I feel a lot better. I feel like it's a very therapeutic process getting rid of stuff. So I'm definitely glad that I did it, even though it was not enjoyable in the slightest for me. <laughs> but it's over now I now have the big task of doing my wardrobe and then once that's done I know I'll feel 10 times better and I'll feel like a massive weight has been lifted so yeah that has been me decluttering my bedroom thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye